Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Garrett Hoddle. Right now, wildfires are burning across our state, destroying thousands of acres. But the Texas A&M Forest Service is trying to get those flames under control. Our KRHD's Diamond Dixon is showing us how. Multiple wildfires are taking place, covering acres of land, getting harder to contain. Yesterday, the Texas A&M Forest Service, we responded to 24 new wildfires um, that burned almost 8,000 acres. As of this morning, we are still responding to several of those. We have about 15 active wildfires today. One of those active fires is in Mineral Wells, about four hours north of Bryan, and Texas A&M Forest Service is on the scene trying to contain the fire. Dealing with a lot of difficulties on this fire, uh, the heat has been oppressive has been really hard on firefighters and it's, it's hot on the ground, hot on the air. Aaron O'Connor, public information officer for Texas A&M Forest Service says they do use water to help contain wildfires, but also use other strategies. Typically, we utilize those um, dozers, that heavy equipment, and what they do is they are putting what we call containment lines around the fire. So they are removing the vegetation down to the bare mineral soil and kind of putting a perimeter around the fire to try to contain it. O'Connor says when the fire burns up to the containment line, the fire stops says it has nothing left to burn. One of the largest fires near the Brazos Valley that has not been fully contained yet is in Walker County. Currently the Nelson Creek um, fire in Walker County um, that is currently 1,852 acres and 80% contained. Close to home, we've seen two recent wildfires. We did have a fire yesterday in Grimes County as well as one in Washington County. Those were relatively small, under 100 acres. Bo Adler with Texas a and Forest Service says it's been difficult trying to contain the numerous wildfires. With temperatures in the triple digits and wildfires occurring often, Adler says it's important for homeowners to have a quick escape route. Uh, one of the things that they can do to assist us is make sure that they have defensible space around their homes and being prepared to evacuate. While wildfires are unpreventable, you can learn ways to reduce your risk of your property being damaged at krhdnews.com. Reporting Diamond Dixon, KRHD News.